my life began uh, in a country called Uzbekistan. That's where uh, I was born. And uh, one day when the communist regime fell apart, suddenly um, there was an open way for us to make Aliyah. At this stage, my uh, father divorced my mom. As soon as we came here, my father passed away. So I really felt like, uh, okay, you know, I, I have to survive in this uh, life. And there is no one that actually will help me. And during this time, my mom got saved. And what happened for us as kids, we saw it from a different angle. We saw how uh, my mom changed. At, that, at, the, at the beginning, we didn't like the change. She was always inviting me to come. And I remember every time I would deny, my life would get worse. I found myself using heavy drugs and using heroin and shooting, and I became a homeless also. Then one day I was uh, arrested in the police station with uh, many files, you know, and they wanted to send me to prison. And I was quite terrified, you know, because I was, I felt like, you know, I felt like an orphan. And I remember my mom came to visit me in, in the police station and she said, you know, all the congregation, all the Kilata Carmel is praying for you right now. I remember when she left, I took another prisoner with me. I said, let's pray that God will help us to uh, change our situation in life. You know, I mean, it was the first time I stood on my knees in a police cell, you know, and I, I, I really begged God to, to help. The next day when we went to the court, you know, I was supposed to go to prison, but suddenly the judge saying, you know what, go home. And I remember coming out of there, knowing that this is miracle, really. My mom said, okay, now come to the church, come to the congregation, because we have a ministry called House of Victory and they will help you. And at that moment, I did not have any more resistance. I said, okay, mom, I, I, I wanna go. But then these people like treated me so amazing and this there was something special about these people i mean they seems very strange but in a good way and they said okay yeah we're willing to take you to the house but the house is full you know we can't take you because there is no empty bed the house is just overpacked with people wow so i'm thinking to myself ma what i'm doing i'm going back to the streets so i went to the streets but i was very desperate i came again after uh, a week or so and they said okay now you can come because one guy just left and there is an empty bed for you. So I came to the house totally desperate, but uh, inside my heart I, I said, if he can change my life, I'm gonna give him all my life. And I remember uh, one day there was a prayer meeting. If there is anybody here that wants to start new page and to receive Jesus in his life, I was the only non-believer at that room, you know, so I knew the message was for me. So I went forward, I prayed, uh, you know, just a regular sinner prayer, but the next day, you know, something supernatural I felt happened. Like, and I told you, you know, I felt like an, I had an orphanage spirit. Like I, I you know, I, I was looking for love of my father. You know, that's what I was looking all my life. And then first thing I realized that God is my father, that everything I was looking for is, is in him.